First question is from Dopetastic Dieter. If I'm in a caloric deficit to lose body fat, should my calories be the same for training and non-training days? Oh, yeah. I this, get asked this question all the time. Yeah, this is an interesting question, and there, I don't think uh, I don't think there's a, a wrong or uh, a right answer for this. I think yeah. it's kind of a personal uh, um, preference. I actually like to play with this. Uh, some, some people would say staying consistent is, is easier and better, but I actually – Find this is one of the easier ways for me to manipulate my calories mm -hmm. instead of doing it like every other day or schedule. It's just like my workout days. I'm fed more on my off days. I cut back a little bit. I did the same thing and I found more energy and better workouts. And yeah. I would argue better recovery from feeding myself more on the days where I'm uh, placing a higher demand on my body, right? So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm training my body and breaking things down, causing some damage. It makes logical sense to feed your body more on those days and then to have less calories on the days off in between. Now the argument is well on the days off in between you need to recover as well. Perhaps it is all a wash, but I did notice better workouts and I did play with this quite a bit. So in essence, instead of being at, let's say a 500 calorie deficit every single day, you'd be on a thousand calorie deficit on the days you don't work out and no calorie deficit on the days you do work out. So at the end of the week, it equals out to the same thing, but you're more fed on the training days. I think it does require a bit more mental discipline for mm -hmm. some people. Like, so if I'm able to, you know, bring my calories up substantially to, to not have the tendency to want to keep them up when I'm not as active, like that takes a little bit more, um, you know, th uh, discipline and, and uh, safeguards in place. Uh, or if you if you can actually do that, I find that for me personally too, and a lot of my clients, they had a lot more um, success with that because it did fuel their workouts better and they had, you know, better recovery and, and undulating like that, you know, still provided really good results. Yeah, well, now, there's, there's, there's research to support that undulating is superior than is. getting straight. So that yeah. we're clear on what we don't have anything to support is whether that matters if it's on a training day or a rest day. Yeah. So that's why I would say that's a personal preference. You know, maybe you're somebody who likes to have a, a lighter stomach on training days and when you're recovering, you prefer to well, load it up. Well, let's talk to the behavior aspect, right? For some people, and I had clients like this, it was easier for them to eat less on the days they worked out. Yeah, that's what why? I'm saying. Because they're already in the mental state of I'm they're, training and I'm getting fit. And they're busy. Mm -hmm. And they're you're busy. busy. You're busy, you're moving. Yes, you're moving versus where I'm at home and I'm not busy. Around. Yeah, and I want to enjoy my food. I want to go out with my friends and eat more. In, in which case, I'm, I'm going to say this right now and I'll always say this. Unless it's like a coping mechanism. Yeah. I'll say this all day long. Behavior comes first, right. right? So if it allows you to stay more consistent overall, then go with eating less on the days you work out. If that's you, right? And I get, like, again, I had clients like that where they're like, look, on Saturdays and Sundays, I don't train. I want to go out and eat more. Um, when I'm training, I'm more occupied. I'm less thinking about food. I'm not going out to eat as much. So I'd rather eat less on those days. And I would tell them, fine, do it that way. Because at the end of the day, it's the behavior part that's the most important. But for me personally, if when I would break things down to performance, if I if I get even to, to get even more specific, it was the meal I had two hours before I worked out. So if I worked out first thing in the morning, I would make sure the dinner the night before was much larger. And that's where I would make up the difference in my calories. So if mm -hmm. you want to get real specific, and we're splitting hairs here, but if you want to get real specific, studies do show having a higher calorie meal with carbohydrates and proteins about two hours before athletic performance shows improved performance, more, more stamina, more endurance, and more strength. Um, but other than that, if, if one works better for you than the other, and it's more likely to keep you consistent, that's what you should focus on. Not the splitting of hairs where you know I'm going to recover 3% faster or I'm going to notice a 5% increase in yeah. performance. That's not nearly as important, especially on a long-term basis. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.